Hey everybody, welcome to the webinar. Sabron Walker from Walker Creative. Today we're gonna to dive into YouTube and video production for your business. Today, video is hotter than ever. It is the leading way to get customers or consumers to your website, to your social pages, engaging with you, and then converting them into customers, to buyers of your products and services. So, let's get right into it today. I'm gonna to share tons of information. It's gonna be very rapid. So take notes, but I also wanna make sure you can see this video again, so watch it over and over again. We're gonna make sure you do get it so that you can get all the details about what's working, how it's working, and then how you can implement it into your business, into the routines you do while you're working so that you can share your story with the world and get them truly engaged with you. All right, let's go. Okay, go, go ahead and back to you, Sabron. Fantastic. Okay, good. Well, this is exciting. I think I'll just get right into it. I think the best thing to do now is I'm going to share my screen. So is everybody seeing my screen right now? Yes. 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 Oh, great. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, good. Here we go. So the first thing I want to, uh, that and I'm going to go over some statistics and some really key and points that a lot of people, you know, sort of take for granted points, but the key one component that we all have to recognize uh, today, especially with the economic environment that we're all in right now, is that we, we have to, to win, to win against the competition, to stand out, we have to get attention. So it's a good point, a, a good mindset to have that when we're doing this, when we're thinking about getting on YouTube and getting into videos and, and pushing our marketing to the next level, we have to get attention and do the right things to get attention and also get good attention. Um, certainly a lot of people do things to get the wrong kind of attention. Um, but when we're talking about our businesses, we want to get attention for what, what products and services we can offer that's going to change someone's life. That's going to do something for someone that they need, that you know they need because you have it. Um, that's going to make that, that problem go away that they've got that you can solve with your expertise or with your product that you're selling. So, so that's just one point I'll make sure that that's what we're doing is we're working to get attention with this. And it is the time for video. Uh, it's more important than ever because this is the way to leverage your business in your marketing. Um, YouTube has 2 billion subscribers and it's growing every day. 81% of businesses use video as a marketing tool. That's up 63% over last year. Seven Okay, so 78% uh, percent of people are watch, watch online videos every single week. 55% view online videos every single day. 72% of customers would rather learn about a product or service by way of video. And social media posts with video have 48% more views. And for a lot of you that are watching this webinar, of course, you sort of know that either intuitively or directly because you've searched this out. And so that's why you're here talking with us. Um, but this is why... This is what I do with my clients every single week. I didn't really do a lot to introduce myself, but I run a marketing agency that's completely digital marketing um, called Walker Creative. And so we help people from everything from what like what Guillaume does with their websites or SEO, you know, getting their websites fixed so they're SEO strong. Uh, but we get into all the Facebook advertising, the organic social media posts, um, setting up your Google My Business page properly, um, getting a YouTube channel built that converts and then creating premium level videos that you can use on YouTube, on your website, and on your social media. So this is what I do every day with my clients. And so that's why I was so excited about getting on this with everybody to share things I know. And I don't know everything. I will never say I know everything, but I know a lot. I've been doing this for over 25 years. And so hopefully some of this can help you out. All right. So what's your goal for video? Of course, we got to say we, we got to do video because that's what people are doing, but you need to get more specific about your goal. Um, and, and you got to increase brand awareness. Of course, these are going to be goals you'll have increasing social, your social following, increasing the value of your website. And um, the, the, the value point is because you, you want people coming to your website for a reason and the video on your website will probably explain what you do, what your products and services can do for someone. And so that's gonna make your website more valuable because it's actually a tool that's gonna tell someone about what you're doing. And so videos will help that in a huge way. 
And then of course, convert the leads that are coming to your website or to your Facebook business page or to your YouTube channel or to your Google My Business page and convert those leads into customers. Uh, some other statistics which were just very powerful I wanted to uh, share here on this page is um, video is expected to make up 82% of internet traffic by next year. And the sweet spot, now this is a huge question I get asked, especially by not necessarily my clients because my clients were creating the videos for them, but just by people all the time is how long should a YouTube video be? And there's a graph here that I'll share um, that is from Wistia. It's a, a company that I use a lot and um, they have some great products. But you see here in the graph at the very beginning here, that's minutes on the bottom and then uh, the engagement time and how it falls off going from bottom to top. And you'll see there from one to two minutes, it's up there at the top at 70% and then over time it starts to fall. Now, the, it's interesting that once you hit the seven minute mark, it levels off. And I, I think it's important to, to understand how your video needs to be as long as it needs to be, but to just ramble or, you know, and, and become uninteresting because you're just trying to make it long, let's say, because you think you need a long video is not the way to do it. If you can say what you need to say in two minutes, fantastic, get it done in two minutes. And that's clearly by the statistics, a great length of video. But if it needs to be six, seven, eight minutes long, because that's how long it takes to say everything that needs to be said, in say an instructional video that you've got or a how-to video about how to use your product or service, well then take the six or seven minutes to make sure it's complete and take someone through what they need to know. So I, just, I get asked a lot and this hopefully clarifies um, sort of a, a way of thinking about it. All right, so let's get into Facebook video. I'm gonna go through uh, different types of video and these are real examples of clients I'm working with all the time, and these are my clients and what we're doing. And, and uh, I don't know, some of these clients might be on this uh, webinar, so fantastic. And thank you for letting me talk about you and share you. And, um, and otherwise, I just wanted you as uh, here with us today to see what's really going on and what engagement really happens when we do things really well. Um, Countryside Veterinary Service over here on the far left is in Illinois. And they, do a they have a fantastic Facebook page. They have about 5,000 followers on their Facebook page. And they're using video all the time on Facebook where they're, they're literally you know, using their phones. A lot of the work we're doing with video, it, it, you know, before you get super sophisticated is you can just do it with your phones. Okay, so, and I'll share more stuff at the end of like exact tools and things you can purchase for inexpensively on Amazon that'll help you to do better video. But, First off, just know your phone is a great video today, a video camera today. So they do videos literally standing there with their phones. Uh, another employee is holding the phone or puts the phone on a tripod and they'll do a video. And you can see that that had 57 likes, 108 comments, 31 shares and 3000 views. And you can see by the date that was on September 3rd. Um, and they're doing a little giveaway of this basket. This, it, it's, a, it's a vet practice and it's like a basket for your dog. Um, here's another one, National Aviation Day. So we all have, this is a great tip to come up with an idea of what to do on a, on a day. Um, all of our different industries have special days. We have social days we all experience like National Ice Cream Day or National Pet Day and things like that. But then certain industries might have special days that are for them. So this Samson Sky is a client that they're building a flying car. And so they, of course, National Aviation Day would be a big day. So they created a video um, that we helped them create. And then they posted this to their Facebook page and uh, that reached uh, 1,129 people, 70 likes, 14 comments, nine shares. And they used it connected to National Aviation Day, which was great. Um, over here is another example. And I'm just going to be sharing these things to give you ideas, as many ideas as I can to things you can do. And it gets simple. The middle one was produced. It was an edited, produced, shot with a camera video. It's actually a CGI showing how this, the car works. But then you have over here, Carolina Rehab in South Carolina. And the, uh, Megan there yeah, is the office manager. And she just uses the phone, literally like FaceTime video. She, she records it as a video on her phone and then posts it to Facebook right from her phone. Um, and we set that up with her of uh, how she can post to the office Facebook page from her phone. 
And um, so she did this video, and if you could watch the whole thing, what it basically does is she says that they did a fundraising drive or a donation drive for school supplies because school was starting in September down there. Um, and so she talked about that and that they did that, and then she turned the camera on and showed all the school supplies. So another great idea for video or pictures or anything to share on your social pages. Um, and you can see there they had 12 likes, nine comments, 91 views. And that was, uh, that was several days ago. All right, we'll go on. Tony, your cat is in your face. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and um, now, so another thing about your Facebook business page and how to use video there. Um, many of you, you've probably seen that your Facebook page is converting to a new look. And um, so they, uh, made it really easy to put a video on the top of your Facebook page. So when someone lands on your business page, and so you have a personal Facebook page, you create a business page, and on that business page is where you start posting about your company. Um, and it varies, okay? So if you have a very small company, it's a, it's a hustle you're doing, and everybody knows you're doing this hustle, and it's a personal, you know, it's a very personal thing to you, and it's part of your life, well, you could probably just start doing that right on your personal Facebook page. It, it depends on what you, how you want to do it. If you have a company that's building, and it's certainly if it's a practice or something like that, well, then what we do is usually the doctor has a personal Facebook page, and then we take and build a business pa Facebook page uh, under that personal page as a separate page to run the business separate to the family and personal stuff. So it's your discretion on how you wanna do that. But what I'm showing you here is these are business pages. We can put a video that we produce right on the top. Now, if you're gonna do that, you can shoot the video instead of like, if you're gonna do a post video, you do it for, uh, vertically on your phone. You hold the phone vertically if it's for a post. But if it's something you wanna produce that you wanna share on the top of the page like this, or let's say on YouTube, well, you gotta hold the phone horizontally and shoot it horizontally like a television screen. Um, yes. Hi, it's Callie. Can I ask a really quick question? You might address this later, but do we have to be on Facebook as a social media platform? Because there's a lot of different platforms. Well, I'm going to go, I'll touch on that, but, but it's a good question. Um, and my, my answer is yes, you have to be on Facebook. And I'll, I'll tell you why. Facebook has over 2 billion people that are on it actively. And um, that's a lot of people. And you can't ignore from a business perspective, you, you might not like Facebook, you, you might have opinions about it, but from a business perspective, Facebook is the biggest social platform out there by a long ways, not even close, like massively different. Instagram, TikTok if you're really young, um, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, all these other platforms are valuable if it fits your niche in the industry you're in. For example, if you sell a product that's for teenagers or young 20 somethings right now, you might want to be on TikTok. I don't do anything on TikTok because that's not my clientele at all. It's not my target audience. So it really depends on your target audience um, where you need to be. If it's really business to business, then maybe it's LinkedIn. Um, I mean, a lot of people, of course, are on, on Instagram, but before Instagram, it would be Facebook. If your audience is late thirties and above, then, then Facebook is still your primary place to share information, share videos, share content, uh, share you know, links to your blogs. Um, and, and the reason is, again, because it just has to be that way because it's just the biggest one out there. Um, but you can still be on other ones. And for a lot of you, you say, well, I want to be on Instagram. Well, that's fine. Instagram is, is great. It's very big. It's very popular. It's going to be a little bit younger than, than, than Facebook. And, and, and understand this as well, and I'll, just, I'll, I'll go back onto the video stuff, but the, on Facebook, even though you might say, well, my audience on Facebook, they just use Facebook to, to um, watch what their family are doing, what their kids are doing, what their par parents are doing, or something like that. Well, realize that that's okay, because still, if you do some ads or some boosts on Facebook, that they're going to be like checking out what their family are doing, but your stuff will be fed in there if the demographics and psychographics and geo-targeting geo is correct for how you're setting those ads. It's still going to hit those people, even though they might not be on there for like looking for business products, um, but they're looking because of their family. 
Well, you hit them with the right thing at the right time. If, if you are the answer to what problems they have, you're still going to get them. So really thinking it through, you know, in a lot of cases, a lot of our cases, the groups that are on this, this, uh, this webinar today, Facebook is going to be very valuable for you. Okay. Hopefully that answers questions for you, Callie, and maybe some others, and I'm going to keep moving. All right. So to finish that, put your video on the top of your Facebook page or at least a great picture that really shares your solution for your target audience. And then you can, you can of course, post videos and pictures and stuff in the feed. All right. Video, it builds trust and long-term growth. Okay, so another reason why video, because it, it connects, okay? It gets a lot of communication going, so it builds that connection, and eventually it builds trust because they can see you, they can hear your voice, they can see the way your eyes look, they can, you know, they, you're human like them. And the more real you are to, the, to your target audience, they're gonna choose you above your competitor who doesn't show pictures of themselves and them being real. I know when I make decisions, and I think you'll find this too if you think about it, you'll make decisions about who you wanna work with and who you wanna engage with because you like them, because they're human like you, they're real like you, and they, they seem honest. And in video, that can come through. And I think like as you watch me in this video, you know, you can tell I know what I'm talking about, that I'm honest about what I'm sharing with you. And so it builds, it builds the trust higher and higher until you're willing to do business with someone. So that's a really key reason to be using video. And in this graph that I uh, dropped on the page here, this is an interesting graph because they, this is the graph of that vet practice in Illinois, uh, countryside. And they basically stopped doing any advertising during COVID during this, the time of this graph. And we were posting organically with lots of videos and pictures of what they were doing with the community on Facebook. And they had this peak over here is in the end of April. And during the middle of COVID, they had their highest number of new clients in a month. And it was almost no advertising, but it was sharing constantly, almost every day with good pictures and videos a few times a week on Facebook. Um, their Facebook following built up to over 5,000 people in, in their area. And they had those kind of statistics because of appropriately using Facebook and video and other forms of content. All right. All right. And this is YouTube. Now, of course, we talk about video, everything's of YouTube, and you can share videos from YouTube onto Facebook or onto other platforms as well. Um, this YouTube, and I'm just gonna share this so you get a sense of how it can work. This YouTube channel over here on the left is Walker Mobile Homes, and it has 143 subscribers, fully organic, um, and the work, uh, there's a lot of videos. Now, um, I didn't mean to do that, I meant to click. Um, the work being done on that YouTube channel um, is with a phone, with a, a wired microphone, a very simple wired microphone, just like a wired microphone. Stick it on your shirt so they can hear you well. Walk around with a phone and she takes these videos and I guide her on how to do it. And the organic, and you can see we set this up and I can't move the pictures around, but you'll see, look closely at the pictures. So we have this video has 670 views, totally organic. Um, and the total views on the channel are almost 27,000. Um, the channel has just become two years old. So it takes some time. You have to work it. You have to say, you know, none of this is going to be like overnight success. Overnight success is not true. Overnight success takes a lot of work and years, years of work to create overnight success. Um, so you see the tags here. And I, I'm sharing this, I want you to get a sense of, we built the channel, we built a strong channel because we built it correctly. So you go into YouTube and set it up and I'm gonna hopefully have some time to quickly show you some things about how to do that. But you tag the video so that when people are searching on YouTube, how you tag it are keywords, and this is a part of SEO. Elliot will know this. And, uh, uh, and so you, you tag it correctly so that people can search it and find it. And then you start getting that organic built up. Um, here on this other one is a dental office and this is a 862 organic views. 
Again, you can see how we tagged the video itself. We wrote appropriate content in the information section about the video. And you can see here that this uh, YouTube channel, which Walker Creative built for this dental practice in Salt Lake City, has 113,000 views. This video has got 162 views. And uh, what is actively getting a lot of attention on that dental practice, on that uh, mobile home flipping company. Okay, and this is uh, Epic Functional Medicine in Iowa. And this is a client that we worked with for a long time to build up their YouTube channel, build their website up, build up all their social channels. And you can see that this is the YouTube channel page and we built up, they got 201 subscribers, uh, th almost 32,000 views. This particular video that's below there at 236 views, or excuse me, in the last 30 days. But you can see now, now here's something else that I don't want you to see this, is that there are channel keywords. So you'll see that the videos, and over, way over here on the right side, the, that video on solutions to chronic illness and with functional medicine in Iowa City, was titled SEO Strong for their area. We tagged it appropriately, that particular video. But then over here on their channel, we, we, ta we used channel keywords. So the channel itself is also being appropriately tagged with keywords. This is all part of SEO, search engine optimization. So on YouTube, you wanna do the SEO work on your YouTube channel as well. And so, and this channel has, as I said, almost 32,000 views. All right, and then of course you have your video on your website and video on website and Guillaume is gonna to touch on this more at the end of this is that you, you, you create video, you get that video onto the homepage of your website or onto the FAQs of your website or of the testimonials page of your website and it gets a lot more engagement in it. and you get people staying on your website longer, watching these videos, which builds up your SEO rankings uh, so that you show up higher on Google is all, this is just all pieces of why video is becoming so important in every part of our digital marketing strategy. All right, and where it matters, of course, YouTube, Facebook, and then Google. Google because of the SEO, um, because you wanna rank on Google. Facebook is where you're gonna be putting them. YouTube will be where you're putting them. But now key here is to understand is YouTube will be where you host them. There are other places you host them, and again, Guillaume will show you that. But for, for all of us pretty much on this webinar, YouTube would be where you wanna create your channel, host your videos, and then from there you can share them on other social channels and on your website. But YouTube is where you host them, it's where you put your videos after they've been edited. All right, so I'm gonna turn it over to Guillaume, but actually before I do that, um, and I, hopefully, Tony, can I just have a few more minutes? Yeah, of course. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna stop sharing that screen and I can see you all again. Give me a thumbs up if everybody's tracking. Is this going okay for you? Excellent, okay, great guys. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my screen again, but I'm gonna go actually into my actual uh, screen and see if I can, okay, good. All right, so this here is my personal Google pay, my Google account. So you have a, a Google account, you set up your Google account, and then you go in here uh, and you go to, you switch account, and then you set up channel accounts, right? So you set up your brand account for your company in Google from your Google account. Okay, so this is my, this is my Walker Creative Google account. And I just wanna show you, if I go to my channel, and what, what I wanna do is I'm showing this to you um, because I want you to see how you can go into your settings and do some of these things where I talked about how to set up your channel keywords, how to set up keywords for a specific video and this type of thing. All right, so we go to YouTube Studio. So I went to my channel, then I clicked on YouTube Studio. I'll go back and, and I'll do that again. So you see here, you can customize your channel or YouTube Studio, right? So I'm gonna go to YouTube Studio and then I'm gonna go here on the far left side, go to settings, and over here in your settings of your YouTube channel, okay, you have channel, and so here in this is where you set up the keywords for your channel. 
So this is all of your keyword work for your channel. So you, and in here you can have, of course, video marketing, like this is what Walker Creative is, right? But also put in, put in what they call long tail keywords, like writing questions, people that would, how they would ask a question on YouTube. Like if you're a, a vet practice, you might go, how to groom my dog at home, right? And maybe you have a video about that. Or what should I do about uh, shots or something like that? Or if you have a mobile home uh, or let's say a, a home flipping business and you want to invest in homes, maybe you do a video on how to invest in home. How do I invest in the real estate market? Or how do I flip a mobile home? Like, okay, so you want to put in the keywords that are appropriate for your channel. Then you have, okay, let's just make sure. I've, so you have that, right? So you put that here. Then you go to upload defaults. Now this is the defaults for each individual video. And so you do, you set this up and then it'll automatically do it for every video you post to your YouTube channel. So you can, a title, every title will be different, right? So I just threw in digital marketing, but every time you put a video up on YouTube, you will be able to edit that. Then you have a description, which is a general description of your business, which you will edit every time individually for each video. But if you put in some basic information in here, it might make it simpler when you post the individual videos. But down here, this is the important part. You want it to go public. Uh, that's so that when you post it, it goes public. But here are the tags for every video you post. Now, when you post the video to YouTube, you might want specific different tags because not every video is the same. And you can go in and edit this once you post that individual video, but this makes it easier. So at every time you don't have to type them all in because you can put in a, quite a few. You have up to 500 characters, which you can see here. So use as many of the characters as you can to fill in the tags you want for that individual, for, for every video you will be posting from here on out to YouTube. And then again, as I said, when you upload a new video, you will at that time have the chance to edit the title, edit the, con edit the information section, and edit all your tags. But this just helps set it up ahead of time. It's a huge point in time saving. All right, so there you go. Those are the key things in your settings. I hope that has helped. Tony, give me a thumbs up if you're hearing me and that seems to be a good thing. Yep, that's great. Okay. Those are the key things. I mean, there's a lot of details. I can't get into everything. I know I'm going very quickly through this with everybody. Um, and there's a huge amount of stuff to get into, uh, you know, and, and other things related to digital marketing and video, but I'm just getting download as fast as I can to give you things that I hope will help you. Um, another thing, so that's, that's the channel thing. I'm going to stop sharing. Okay, good. Hey, everybody, we're, you're getting this? Okay, good. Okay, one last thing I want to say before I, I'll, I'll then turn it over to Guillaume and share is a lot of people ask, well, what's, what, what do I do first? What's that first video I do? Like the big moment where you're like, okay, I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna submit, go for it with that first video that I record. I set my phone on a simple tripod that I can buy on Amazon. I get myself that, that lapel microphone that I can get on Amazon. Um, and we can get it, I, ha I have a blog on my website that, that talks about this first, getting this first one done and the, and some of the equipment you might need. So we can, we can tell everybody where that is. Maybe Tony can help with that, but be that as it may get your phone on a tripod, get the microphone. Audio is way more important than a lot of people realize. So make sure that they can hear you. And then you do that video. What is that video? Well, it's an instructional video. Your expertise is very specific to you. And so you know how to do something really well whether it's you know, real estate and you're gonna show a house off and you're gonna talk about curb appeal or you flip mobile homes or single family homes and you're gonna talk about how you do that or you do SEO work and you're gonna talk about how you do that. Whatever it is that you do, you're an expert in that and you can do a video on how to do that. Answer a question, decide what's a huge question or ask your customers, what's the biggest question they have about what you do, what you offer. And, and literally the video is, you get, on the, you get on the video and you go, I get asked all the time about how to make my, help, my house sell for a higher price. It's just a huge question I get asked all the time. So this is how you do it. 
I'm going to go over five ways you can do that. And you go bang, 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 bang. Literally, that's an example for Tracy of how to do the video. You, you ask the question at the beginning of the video and you say you're going to answer that question. So there you go. So I just want to like, that can be the first video you do and I'll do that. that'll get you started. So I hope that helps. Give me a thumbs up if some of that has helped. Okay, great. All right, so Guillaume, I'm going to um, turn this over to you. I'm gonna share my screen again and you just tell me what you want me to do. Okay, so here I'm gonna go back. Yeah, absolutely. If you wanna, you can share the slides for me if you want to and I'll tell you when to, to switch. So you guys can hear me, I, I guess, so good. Everybody loud can hear me? Clear, loud yeah. and clear. Okay. Awesome, so just to reintroduce myself a little bit for everybody, uh, my name is Guillaume. I run a web design and web development business uh, in Vancouver, Canada. I'm originally from Quebec, so I'm a French Canadian. This is why of the French accent. So if you don't understand, just let us know. Um, and so we are really technical and Sabron is really like the marketing kind of expert. And on our end, we're more like technical experts. So what I want to talk about is a bit more of the technicalities and the, the plus, the pros and cons of each of the platform uh, that Sabron discussed. And I'll also uh, suggest other platforms. Um, so just before we start it, so why to use a video on your website? So a couple of facts. So a website is 53 times more likely to reach the front page of Google if it includes a video. So which is a really good, important data uh, to understand. So it's really important to have a video, I think, on your own page if you have a, a services that explains your services because our people are way more likely to watch your video than read your content on your uh, homepage. Um, including a video on your landing page can boost your conversion rate by 80%. And what I mean here by, what we mean by a landing page here, it's, it's a page where people will land. So it could be an advertising page, but basically a landing page, usually it's a page where there's only one action. So we either uh, offer a product or we ask people to sign up for a newsletter. So it's only one action. If you put the video on there, you get, you're more likely to convert people doing that action. Um, and 57% of consumers said that video gave them more confidence to purchase online, um, which is very good uh, uh, data to, to understand as well, because it, as uh, Sabron mentioned, it does build trust. So I'm going to give you just a quick example. So if Sabron, you can go to the next slide. So this is a page we built. Um, uh, Sabron, are you okay to go to the next slide? Sorry, yeah, I'm tr there we go, good. Okay, <laughs> so this is an example of a high converting uh, page we built. Uh, so it's a video landing page and what we call usually a VSL page, which is a video sales letter. So it's really a sales pitch in a video. So that's probably the, almost the only thing you have on that page is a video. So, and what happens here in terms of the flow, so the person must watch the video and after a couple minutes, we show a button where they can click to either purchase a product or sign up for a newsletter. And they're more likely to click that button if we show it after a couple minutes because we know they are engaged in the video and they are interested in the offer. So this is why we show the button later because we feel that they need to watch the video to, to see really what this is all about. And in that case, we even put a timer on, 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 the, on the page to uh, some, some, some of a time pressure, right? You know, so this is what's going to happen in two days. Please sign up. So this is an example. So what I want to discuss next, if you want to change a slide, uh, Sabron, it's... All right. So there's really two options when you have your video files and you want to distribute it. So there's either you self-host it. And what that means is that you upload it directly to your website. So it could be like a WordPress website or a Wix website. And usually these websites have default video players. So you just upload your file on your website. It will be hosted on your server. And this is how you can actually embed a player on your video page. The other option is the distribution platform, which is the platform we discussed about like YouTube, could be Vimeo and other platform we're gonna discuss next. But there's, there's things to understand with these two uh, options. So for the self-hosted, the advantage is sometimes you can have control over the video player. So you can change the colors, you can change a little bit of the aspect. And if you have a developer that work with you, you can do a lot of custom things. But some of the disadvantage of self-hosting your video, and these are important, is sometimes if you don't have control over your 
your server or your hosting or you, it's, it's a bit too tech for you, then you can have some size limit. Meaning if you have a large video, you might not be able to upload it. Uh, you can also have speed issues depending on your hosting of your website. If you uh, buy some shared hosting on, let's say, a Bluehost or GoDaddy, then these uh, servers usually they put some limitation uh, for the speeds uh, in terms of downloading your video. And sometimes it relies on the video being in one place on the whole planet, meaning on one server, as opposed to the distribution platform where they're going to put your videos on different data center across the world. Um, you might also have some view limits there. So in terms of distribution platform, the advantage is compatibility, meaning that most of the video players on these platforms like YouTube, they're really well tuned for all the type of devices. So which is a mobile or a desktop device. Usually there's no limits in terms of size and views. So you can upload as, as big as you want a video or you can have an unlimited number of views. And you can reach a lot more people, especially on YouTube. When you put your video, you're going to show up in the search of YouTube. Some of the disadvantage of, of distribution platform is usually customization. So they own the video player. Usually you don't have a lot of control how you want the aspect, you know, the visual aspect of the video player to look like. And uh, the control of the video player as well. If you want to remove some items from the video player, usually it's, it's kind of uh, hard or it's limited. So if we go on the next slide, uh, what I want to talk about is the different platform you can use to distribute your video. So we mentioned before YouTube. So YouTube is a most popular platform, super easy to embed on your website, and you can build a following with followers. Uh, another platform is, that we I personally like a lot, it's Vimeo. Uh, they have a very clean video player that usually will fit well with your website because it's not bloated with different styles. It's very, very clean they have a lot of privacy options. So if you want to make your video private, meaning that let's say you are building a couple of video lessons that you want to charge for, then Vimeo is a great option because you can lock your video so they can only be viewed on your website. Um, and there's different other things you can do to protect your content. Another platform that uh, Sibron mentioned is Wistia. So Wistia is, is similar to Vimeo. So it's, it's a it's a video, a video platform hosting. And what, what I like about it, it's, it's very simple, it's very easy to use, and they have tons of customization in terms of stats. I'm gonna cover the pros and cons of these. And Facebook, obviously, so you can reach more people. And what I like about Facebook that is amazing is the autoplay feature, because when you're on your phone, by default, it will autoplay the video that goes on your feed, which is super powerful, right? Because it will attract attention right away. And most of the people do not disable the autoplay feature on their phone. You can also boost your video easily and pay to uh, have them show up uh, to a lot of more people. So we can go on the next slide. We're gonna discuss the pros and cons of each of these platform and you know, to try to determine what you should use and when you should use them. So YouTube, it's free to use, obviously. Uh, there's no video or upload limit. Uh, it's really easy to embed on your website. So it's usually it's a little piece of code that you drop on your website and that's it. The video show up on your website. Um, you will show up in search. So in YouTube. So if you have like good keywords, as Sabrina mentioned, you will show up in search. So it's easier to find uh, your video about your business. Um, you can also go viral. So if your video is really good, then people will share it a lot and it will show up in also suggested um, video. So you see when you watch a video on YouTube, some, sometimes you have like suggested video. So you're most likely to show up there and get a lot more views. Uh, you can add links to the video, of the description of the video. You can add links, you can add things about your business, you can promote your business in the description of the video. Um, also the platform support live streaming. So if you want to do a live stream, you can do it and the beauty of it is that you can embed that live stream on your website. So you can build, let's say a page, which will be like a live stream at a certain date and you put the video on that page on your website and let's say you have an offer, like a button that says purchase my course, but you can do a live stream at the same time. And you can get also following so people can follow your channel obviously and then whenever you publish a new video, they will be uh, notified if they have their notif notification turned on. Um, some of the, the cons with, with YouTube that I want to mention is that when you embed a video on your website, you, you got to be careful with this is 
if you don't have a lot of things in your channel and, and you don't use the a specific code in, 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 the, in the embed, what's going to happen is that at the end of the video, you're going to see a lot of other videos that are not related to your business that you know, YouTube will suggest to the viewers. So they can kind of distract attention so they can go on other videos that you don't want to. Um, you cannot really customize the video player. So you cannot change the color, remove items, very hard to do. Um, and there's no real privacy option. The only thing you can do with, with YouTube is unlist your video. So it will never show up in search or make it private where you need to share it with specific user in YouTube, which is, you know, not very convenient. Now for the next uh, platform, if we uh, change a slide, I want to talk about uh, Vimeo and the pros and cons of Vimeo. So you can make your, your, your video totally private, meaning, as I mentioned before, if you have a course that you want to sell on your website, you can make uh, your video totally private so no one else can see them unless they are on your site. And let's say you lock a page on your site, you know, that's, that's the way you can do it. You can customize the player, the color, so you can tune it to your color of your website, which is amazing. It has a really clean look. Um, and also for developers, if, if you are a web developer, they have a, a great API. An API is, is, a, is a, um, basically an interface where you can, you can request some information about the videos and you can do lots of customization. It does support also live streaming. And one thing that is really cool, it supports lead capture, meaning that in your video, you can ask the user to fill their email address to watch it. So either at the beginning, you know, at a certain time in the video or at the end. So you can accumulate leads based on that. Also, you, one option is you can sell your video on, on Vimeo for, for a specific amount of money. If you do like professional videos uh, that you want to sell, you can do it. Now, some of the cons, it does cost some money to get the premium feature that I've talked about. So it could cost up to $75 per month. Uh, the basic plan start at $9 though. Uh, you have some upload limits. So if you have huge video files, you might be limited in what you can do here, but usually it's really hard to reach the limit. <laughs> um, another thing is like, you're not going to show up in search as easy as YouTube. Now for the next uh, platform, if we switch a slide, uh, I want to talk about uh, Wistia. Wistia is really, is really cool actually. So, and it's, I don't think it's known by a lot of people. Um, so first of all, the pro of Wistia is that it has extremely good stats on your video regarding the engagement and the play rate. So you can really know how your video is performing. Another thing that it's great about, it supports A-B testing. And what A-B testing is, it's basically you would provide two video of the same thing. And Wistia will show them depending on who's watching it. So they'll show, like, it will do, let's say a 50%. So one person will see one video, another person will see another video. And then Wistia will determine which one is the best based on engagement. So this is really interesting. If you have a lot of traffic and you want to test different, you know, editing on your video or different offers in your video. It does allow also call to action in the video, meaning at some point in time in the video, you can say, you can put a thing that says, click this link to get this offer, which is super interesting for conversion. Um, you can totally customize the player with the color, with the elements. And you can use one thing that I'm showing you here with the video is you can use a video for the thumbnail. This is actually unseen on other platform. So, so, and what is the advantage of that is because these days with the, the browsers, the browsers do not allow auto play of the player when you go on the page, unless the player is muted. And so, so if you put a, if you, if you want your, your player to auto play when the, the person loads your page, uh, you will have to make it muted so they could miss some of the information. So the best is just to add it there and they click play. Now the advantage of having a video as a thumbnail is you show them a little preview. So it's really enticing to, to be like, I, I, I want to see this video. So, you know, it's most likely they're going to click on this as opposed to just a static thumbnail. Uh, some of the cons of Wistia is the free version is limited a little bit. So you have like only three videos. And the base version is a bit pricey. So if you're on a budget, uh, just be aware of that. So it's $99 per month and you have 10 videos with that and extra videos will be 25 cents. It's pretty cheap, but you know, just keep that in mind. For the next platform I wanna talk about is uh, Facebook. 
So Facebook, some of the pros and cons. So the pros is the autoplay on the newsfeed. This is amazing. So people scroll your feed. If they see your video, it might autoplay on their app, especially on their app. Um, it fits perfectly in the feed as opposed if you share a YouTube video on Facebook. So if you upload your video straight to Facebook, it will it, 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 it'll look better on the feed as a, as a shared YouTube video. So it, most likely people will watch it. Uh, you, you will reach a lot of people if you have a lot of followers and you can boost or, or use your video in ads, which is super effective. One thing that is cool also with Facebook is you can get reaction very quickly on the video, meaning like you can know if your video is effective or not, just looking at the likes, the comments and the share. So it, 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 the stats is available right there for you to see. Some of the cons is that it's not as easy to embed on your website. Like if you upload to Facebook and you wanna upload, you wanna use the Facebook video on your website, it could look a little bit weird uh, because of the customization. Uh, and then you don't have any control over the video. Um, so just to give you a summary on the next slide, what I would, this is my suggestion based on your usage of your, uh, your video. So if, you, if you're doing a landing page promo or offer, I highly recommend that you use Wistia and Vimeo. And the reason for that is because you can really customize a video player and you have really good stats on understanding the engagement. If you do it like a corporate or about videos of your business, I really highly suggest uh, YouTube, Facebook, and also Vimeo. But for YouTube, because your video is going to show up in search um, and Facebook, you're going to reach a lot of, of people. If you do like how to videos and training videos, which I really suggest to do, if you have a business and you have knowledge, share it, like seriously share it online on, on YouTube because YouTube loves when you upload a lot of videos. So if you do like a training video every week and you upload it to YouTube, you're going to build a following. Um, so this is what I suggest is, is use it on YouTube. And why I'm suggesting Vimeo is because if you're, if you want to do like private videos, Vimeo is really the place to go. Um, and if you do like a vlog and blog, obviously use YouTube and Facebook. So I highly suggest that you upload to YouTube, you upload also to Facebook. So not only sharing your YouTube video on Facebook, you don't want, you want to also upload to Facebook. And lastly, while we're talking about videos and video training, one an amazing tool I've been using this year a lot, uh, if we go on the next slide, it's, um, and if you want to do like tutorial uh, and you want to share these tutorial online, I really highly suggest that you look for Loom. Loom is amazing. It's a really great tool and you can record yourself on your computer doing things and share them very easily. So this is what we use at GraphM solution to share to our customers. Whenever we build a website, we record a video on Loom to show them how to use the website and do some customization. So if you have this type of business and you wanna, you wanna share videos, you wanna do online tutorial, Loom is, is really incredible. So I highly suggest you do it. The free version is amazing. Um, and the premium version is not expensive. It's like five bucks a month. And you, you have uh, uh, access to like HD videos and you can make your video private. You can put the password on your video. So this is, this is what I suggest. Now in conclusion, uh, I mean, if you guys want to talk to us and, and do some sort of a consultation with us, we'll be happy to, to chat with you. So you can go to our, to, to our website at graphen.com slash chat and fill out the form. And we'll be really happy to get a, you know, on a call with you and, and, and talk about your ideas and your business and how you can achieve what you're looking for. Um, so I hope this answered your question. I don't know if you guys any, have any questions. Uh, I didn't want to go too technical. Uh, I just want to cover the platform and, and what they're, they're used for and what are the best platform. And, and yeah, so that, that's it. <laughs> awesome. That's great. Thanks, Guillaume. I know that uh, definitely Guillaume is the technical wizard. So he probably went into a lot more technical detail that some of you were like, okay, that's a little, over yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what, that's okay. That's Guillaume. He, he, he is a genius. So yeah, if you want to, uh, and Tony might jump on this as well. If you have specific questions that you have for us, then uh, definitely let Tony know, or you can put it in the comments or chat now, and then we can um, get back to you. Um, and just make sure you get any other uh, detailed questions answered. And if you uh, really feel like you need to uh, get with um, Guillaume or myself 
because uh, you need help with your marketing in these ways. And certainly, of course, reach out to us uh, whenever you'd like to, to talk about that. Um, okay, well, here we are. Thank you.